Hey everybody, Mark Smith the Comics and I'm back. This time I want to show you guys my big birthday haul. Got a big stack of books. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you'll get in the Tommy fashion. Like I said, ended up um, going over the weekend. It was my birthday, so I ended up hanging out with some friends. We did a big, like, almost like comic crawl. We went to a few spots and um, ended up picking out some books. We had some lunch and dinner. We just had a great day. Um, ended up meeting with Kevin, John, Will, and Sean. And we went to three shops. We went to JNS, uh, the antique shop next door, and then Wonderland Comics in, uh, in Connecticut. So um, ended up getting, like I said, a nice stack of books um, and a few AOKs. So uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, one of the AOKs. And uh, we ended up meeting up with Kevin shortly after lunch. Oh, he, he met up for lunch. And uh, he gave us a bunch of uh, some really cool sketches. So um, he made for me a really cool Moon Knight sketch. There you go. That was really nice. Thanks, Kevin. And um, I'll show you the books I got at the uh, first place. So this was... Um, <clears throat> let me just get my... Uh, books all together because I got a few different stacks all right so this was the books these were the books that I got at J and S and um, so they had some pretty good back issues there um, a good amount of slabs as well I've been to J and S a few times in the past it's a really nice shop and a lot of like neat antique collectibles so um, ended up going and getting four books the first time. We went there twice, so <laughs> I'll show you the second stack after. Um, been trying to get some more like holiday covers, so I got some more Christmas-related covers. And the first book I got was The Tick. Um, big red and green Christmas spectacle. I believe this is a, it says number one. I don't know if it's a, a series or if it's a one-shot, but uh, it's a nice little cover. You see the tick holding some candy canes and the tree in the background. I like the colors on this book. Um, and the prices were pretty good. The prices that are listed on here are, are what I paid. So this was two bucks. Um, I got another tick book. This is called The Tick Big Yule Log Special Number One. There you go. Another Christmas related cover. This is what? Two bucks. Um, really, really digging this Peter Parker cover. This is Peter Parker Spider-Man issue number 88. This one was probably my favorite. You can see him there. He's in the snow. He has a flaming pumpkin there. So you got kind of like a, both holiday and, uh, I guess, Halloween cover maybe? Or it could just be that he's just holding the, uh, the pumpkin. But, uh really nice color cover there don't know who did the cover on this one though but um it says Ramita Jr. and Scott Hanna so I'm, I'm guessing it was probably Ramita but really nice cover that was uh two bucks as well they had some great prices like I said and uh, this was a really cool book I remember seeing the um the show back in the day and uh this is Space Ghost um Space Ghost number one that was a nice little pickup as well for five bucks. So I'll put that aside. That was the first stack from when I went to JNS. I'll show you the second stack after. After that, we were there for a while. Um, and then we went next door to the antique shop. The antique shop has a lot of cool books there. They have some, um, I think like a few, a few cabinets we looked at that had some nice key books. And there's some Golden Age books as well. And then upstairs on the third floor, 
there's a lot of like dollar, two dollar, five dollar books there as well. So uh, we did we did both. We spent some time in both sections. Um, there was one book there that really caught my eye, and um, especially I've been looking at this book for probably since since the beginning of the year because I knew uh, the MCU is going more supernatural. Um, so I've been looking for this book at a decent price, and especially after the most recent uh, Werewolf by Night show. This book has been jumping up in price, and this is Marvel Premiere, issue number 28. First uh, team appearance of the Legion of Monsters, as you see here on the cover. Really nice cover, and uh, this was a good price. I think I paid $25 or $30 for this book. It's probably like right around $100 right now. It's a nice book. It's only going to continue to go up in value. Um, and this was a really neat, like, um, scarce find. And I was kind of surprised that I saw that up in the um, third floor. And this is Animaniacs, Go to France, um, issue number 18. And if you can see there, it's a DC Universe label. So these are really scarce, hard to find. These are sometimes second or third printings from the um, original, depending on the issue. Um, really tough book to find. I think I paid three bucks for it, which was a great buy. But um, just not something you see every day. I didn't even know Animaniacs had a comic book. Um, so that was pretty cool. But uh, that was all I picked up at the antique shop. And then we had lunch. This cool Irish pub called uh, Hair and the Hound. Some good food, good beer. We hung out there for a little bit. And then we went hunting again. And uh, <laughs> went back to... Um, uh, JNS, JNS collectible, and uh, picked up a few more books if I can find them. Uh, let's see. I don't seem to find them. I'll get back. I'll get back to those after. All right. So. Um, and then after that, we went to Wonderland Comics, which I've been there a few times in the past. And um, I can't say I'm a big fan of the shop, but they have a ton of books there. And um, I know a couple of them do like the shop, so we spent, a, you know, we spent about a half an hour there. And I did pick up one book, and I was kind of surprised to see that the book was there because... This was one of the two books I had left to uh, complete my Moon Knight Volume 1. And uh, this is Moon Knight, issue number 23. Classic Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Um, actually paid the stick a price, 20 bucks, uh, which is fine because, you know, I've been trying to collect this book just out in the wild, not trying to buy any of them online. Uh, I could have bought them online and had the complete run by now, but uh, just, I just wanted to find these all in the wild. So this was the first time I've seen this book in the wild at a decent price. Um, I thought 20 bucks was okay. It's not a, you know, near mint book, but uh, it has a few spine takes, but uh, it don't matter because it's going into PC. So uh, I have one book left to, to complete that run, and that's issue 15, that really cool Frank Miller cover. So um, then I'll be done with that, with the volume. So... Um, that was the only book I picked up there. Like I said, I wasn't trying to pick up any books there because I'm not the biggest fan of the shop. And then, um, oh, here we go. I did find the two books I got back from JNS when we went there the second time. Picked up some uh, another um, holiday cover. This is uh, Sensational Spider-Man, issue number 24. Another really cool holiday cover. You can see some of the... Um, uh, characters there in, inside of the uh, Christmas balls on the side. You got the uh, tree in the background. It says Hydra Man reigns in the holiday season. So that was a dollar. Thought that was a great buy. And um, the last book I got there, Kevin actually found this um, when he was digging as well. And he saw this uh, really early Moon Knight cover on, um, on Defenders. So this is Defenders issue number 48. And at the bottom it says, Where is the, what is the secret of Scorpio? And you can see uh, Moon Knight here. Really small. 
but uh, it's an early Moon Knight cover. So I've been trying to get some of the early Moon Knight uh, books as well. You know, before he got into um, Volume 1. This came out in 77. So, you know, this is definitely an early Moon Knight uh, appearance. So those were the, uh, the books I got at the shops. So um, I also got a couple of more AOKs. Um, so I got an AOK from John. And um, John gave me a store folio. So you can never have too many of these. These are always great when you're on, on the hunt on the road. And uh, he throw in some, he knew I'm a big Golden Age and uh, pre-code horror guy. So uh, he threw in this Tales from the Crypt, uh, issue number two. I believe this is from the 90s run. Um, yep, because it has the $1.95 sticker price. But these are great because, you know, a really affordable way where you can actually read some of the older stuff that was reprinted. So these are really cool to find. And then he threw in, which I was shocked, he threw in this Weird Science issue number 22. This is the actual uh, book, not the reprint. So uh, really cool. He, he knew I'm a weird science, weird fantasy uh, collector. Any of that really cool sci-fi covers, he knows I like. Um, this is just a great cover. This is done by uh, Wally Wood. And you can see there, there's some, you know, astronauts there or like you know they're in space and they're trying to fight this alien of some sort um really cool cover yeah i'm just like i, I was shocked that he he put this book in there so uh thanks john that was a really nice uh a-ok and um uh, i do also have one more box to show you so one second while i grab that grab that last one um like i said i do i do bring store folios with me and i did bring my store folio with me when we went hunting and uh right at the end right before we all left or right before we went for dinner sorry um we went to the car and will and sean had i think three short boxes where he was like go through the short boxes and uh pick whatever you want you know these are books we just couldn't you know get rid of so uh if it's something you guys are interested in Feel free to grab them. So um, I grabbed a store folios worth of comics. So I'm going to show you what I got. You know, you know, I'm a, I like collecting horror and stuff like that. So I had to get some horror books, of course. So let me show you what I got first off. First book I got another cool uh, holiday cover. This is a Halloween cover. This is Punisher issue number one, uh, the annual annual number one. And it's just a really nice uh, cover. You see the Punisher there, and you got some trick-or-treaters there on the bottom. So uh, <laughs> just a nice cover. I believe this is, uh, yes, it is. It's a Ron Lim cover. I'm a big fan of Ron Lim. So I had to get that. Um, this is, I got a Daredevil book. So this is an earlier Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil issue number 111. And... Um, this is a minor key. This is the first appearance of the Silver Samurai, as you see there on the cover. All right, what else we got? This book's in a Mylar, which uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to use this to switch out into a different book. But um, this is DC Comics Presents issue number seven, uh, 85, 84. And uh, this is significant because this is the last Jack Kirby uh, on DC or in the series. I forget, but it is the last Jack Kirby cover. So that was that's a cool book. Uh, speaking of horror, I had to get some horror books. Um, I do have this series. I did enjoy it when it came out. It's a fantastic read. And uh, I did not have this cover. And this is Red Mother. Issue number one, just a really creepy cover. Um, this is one of the, uh, this was the monster in the in the book that always terrified the uh, main character. We got just a cool book to have if you're an X-Men fan. Um, 90s shiny 
foily madness right here this is x-men alpha issue number one look at that look at that shininess it's uh it's shiny and it's embossed so it's <laughs> two of the 90s gimmicks right here that's awesome didn't have this book in the collection uh got another key book this is x-force issue number 11 which is the uh, first appearance of domino we got oh another good horror book this was a this was a decent read as well this was by um a blaze this is vampire state building issue number one and this is a i believe a glow in the dark cover so so cool this is a fun series uh, we got a couple more books left we got x-men issue number 11 and then uh, this is just a classic jim lee cover so definitely had to get that one down to our last two. Oh, speaking of horror we're gonna finish off with some with some horror right um nope we won't finish with horror we'll get one more left we got a Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, issue number one. This was that indie horror movie that got adapted into a book afterwards. Um, this was also a pretty good read. Pretty pretty creepy. Um, and uh, I love these red red covers. They look, they look great. That was by uh, Behemoth. And then the last book, which I did not have as well, I do have the blue third printing. And uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 55, the second print, that really classic uh, Gleason cover. So uh, that was my haul. Um, my haul, the AOKs, it was just a fantastic um, day to go out there and hunt with these guys. So thanks again, guys, for, you know, making this happen. I know it was tough to get everyone to come out. We'll have to hopefully do it again soon. We'll see. Depends on scheduling and whatnot, but... Um, it was definitely a great time, and hopefully we can do it. This was in Connecticut when we did it. Um, hopefully we can do it probably in the Massachusetts, Rhode Island area for the next time around. But we'll have to work around the you know schedules and so forth. But um, that was my big birthday haul. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. In the comments down below, let me know what you thought. Um, and until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.